Hello, and welcome to another Minecraft Magic tutorial video. In today's video, I will teach you how to construct the flying machine that is behind me. I developed this flying machine as part of my research into Project Snowbird. The goal of Project Snowbird is to create a flying machine that is capable of breaking a large amount of bedrock in a rectangular area. This requires designing a three-way flying machine that can go forward, reverse, and sideways. However, currently this flying machine can go only forward and reverse, and I'm still working on the stations that will make it go sideways. However, I wanted to go ahead and get a tutorial out to sort of show you where I am in my progress and explain some of the mechanics behind what I am doing. The method we are using to break bedrock comes from only 21 and uses layers of top snow to remove bedrock. Top snow can be up to eight layers deep on a block. Top snow is also a gravity block, so if you break the block underneath it, it'll fall. Other interesting thing about top snow is when you break a block and it falls on top of other top snow, it combines. Top snow is craftable in survival. You will require a lot of snowballs. This can be generated from a snow biome or a snow farm. So first thing you need to do is use snowballs to create uh, snow blocks. So four snowballs is one snow block. So if we um, create these, then um, with snow blocks, three snow blocks equals top snow. And then from there, you can create top snow. And once you have this, you can now break bedrock. So in order to break bedrock, we're going to use a setup like this. So we're going to stack eight layers on this piston and one layer here. So when we press this button, this piston's going to retract the same time as this piston activates. And so this is and so this falling snow will be pushed from the side on top of this one. In order to construct a two-way flying machine, I needed an engine that was two-way. This is a design sent me by 77 Tigers on the TechRock server. TechRock! So in this design, if you operate um, either of the observers, it goes left and right. So this is very useful, but the problem that I found with this design is it didn't leave a lot of room for a payload on the flying machine. So I ended up reducing it to a single input and a flying machine that is potentially resettable. So if we activate this flying machine, we will eventually get to a return station. So this return station has now changed the direction that the flying machine moves. It all has to do with these two pistons down here. So in this configuration, it moves left. And then when we change the configuration, it will move right. In order to get this engine incorporated into my flying machine, I made two slight modifications. So I developed these two modified engines that still behave the same way with the same mechanic, but have different shapes. And so both these engines are the ones that are used in Project Snowbird. In order to use this flying machine, you wanna get into the boat. You wanna point your mouse cursor at the back piston and you're gonna place nine layers of snow. On the ninth layer, the observer will be triggered. And that's gonna that's gonna cause the um, flying machine to activate the mechanism and move forward. So far you have seen the mechanics behind Project Snowbird and watched the prototype flyer in action. Now I'm going to show you how to build the prototype flyer. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take honey blocks and we're going to build up six or so blocks. 
Then we're going to come down here and break one. Then we're going to place an observer facing upwards. Okay. Break that. And then we're going to break the rest of these. Okay. Now we're going to place two glazed terracotta on either side of the observer. And we're going to do two honey blocks downwards on either side. So underneath the observer, you're going to place our two sticky pistons, one directly under the observer facing outwards, and another one facing the other direction. Okay. So out from these pistons, we're going to go out two more blocks, place uh, regular pistons on either side, go out two blocks again, and place redstone blocks. This is the core um, engine. This is our first core engine of our flyer. And if we place snow on it, it will move. Okay, so that works. Now we're going to attach our mechanism. And our mechanism is going to be a um, regular piston on this side facing up and a um, redstone block there. Now we're going to attach this redstone block back to this honey block. And then on top of the rest of the block, we're going to place an observer facing downwards and another piston. Yeah. So this gives us our flyer and our mechanism. Now we're going to attach another flyer back here so we can keep everything moving together. We're going to place another flyer that, and we're going to place an observer on this redstone block. And on either side, we're going to place more glazed terracotta on this glazed terracotta. We're going to place two. Uh, we're going to place two um, honey blocks on either side, and then a piston as well. So we're going to follow this up by placing our two pistons in the same way we placed them before. So we come over here and look. You see we have a gap on this side, so we want a gap on this side again and match it. Now we're going to place in the um, tail, like so. We need to do two more things left. So now we have our two flyers in. So now we need to add some pistons to make sure this um, piston gets moved the la at the very end. So we're going to place one piston up here on that honey block. We're going to come down over here. And place another piston like so. Last thing we need to do is place observers. So we're going to place an observer going to face into this block so it points and activates the piston. So now our flyer is done and we can test it out. Eight, block, eight blocks of snow there, and then we finish off with a piston. We have now can break bedrock. The one last thing that is very important is you need to put a birch boat right here for you to ride in. And now we're going to test it out again, this time with some bedrock. So if I now come down here, ride in the all-important birch boat and fill this area with snow see that it works if you want to change the direction of your flyer you need to come down here and change out the pistons so the easy thing to do if you were doing it manually is to break these two pistons and then replace them in the opposite order. So you move the gap to the other side. So we do that again here. Break those and fix this. So when you do this, you come up here and try again. It's going to go in the reverse direction. Before we end, I would like to acknowledge several of the people 
who helped in building this project with ideas or tech, Only21 for his bedrock breaking technique, Navy Nexus, Hazel, 77 Tigers, Alan, and um, Zundepachev. Those are the people who've helped me out on TechRock, Advanced Automation, and Exploit. Um, help sort of provide ideas and tech that makes this work. Hopefully, with a little bit more time, we'll be able to figure out a way to make this a three-way flyer so we can actually break a rectangular area. Right now, this can only break in a straight line, and reversing is not really that useful because you would be breaking the line you've already broken. Um, but hopefully, some more work, we can get this to break a larger area, and then we can start clearing out large sections automatically in the nether, which would be very cool. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you. And thank you and good night.